Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Until next time, brother. You haven't faced that pirate captain yet, have you? Safia? I only ask, because you're still alive. By Sithis, now I am truly impressed. To kill a pirate captain on our own ship, no less, simply masterful. You've not only earned your payment, but my respect as well. And believe me, friend, that does not come easily. I'm afraid that concludes our business. You have exhausted all available additional contracts. But I'm sure you've got plenty to keep you busy right about now, hmm? You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astra told you about the gourmet, I hope. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Don't be so petulant. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan, who the Gourmet really is, and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more? need to get his writ of passage, so you could take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Remember, the Markarth Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own.
Excuse me, do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Who writes in school? Thank you for your time. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. Who are you? What do you want? The... the gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. With the gourmet's identity in hand, wait until Vrain goes to sleep to make the kill, when you won't be caught in the act. The guard said he saw a major. Wait until nightfall when the gourmet is alone in the cellar. Enter the cellar through the hatch on the north side of the building. Kill him, take the writ of passage, and conceal the body.
brother. So the prodigal murderer returns. And the gourmet? So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment. And a little something else as well. From me. Consider it my way of apologizing. For being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much needed oomph. Now, you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. I serve Astrid in this sanctuary. Life is simple and good. So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet, and now Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Oh, I have the utmost faith in your success, believe me. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Remember, when you kill, we all wield the blade. 